in a deep wood, accompanied only by a blanket, which he found, and a water bottle which had no water, he talked to the trees when they were listening. I could have one thing. It'd definitely be toilet paper. <laughs> Most of the time, he would wait for what he cannot say. At night time, when the sky would shift from a cobalt blue to an absolute black, he would sleep. And in the daytime, he would travel. <laughs> in the daytime, he would travel. I, the almighty God of narration, shall drop an ice cream truck filled with pudding on top of your head if you do not get up. Well, he a little motivation. One day, through miles of travel, he was finding his favorite elm branch about the dream he was having recently. And it's like there was all this gunfire, and then there was all this stampeding. I'm getting stampeded, and this voice just starts yelling out to me. <laughs> move! No, 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 no. Move! The stampede! No, no. Oh, stop! And then, and then the voice. There's something behind the door. What does it mean? Why do you ever talk to me? <laughs> All of a sudden, something startled him, shaking him from the temper tantrum. He saw something from a distance. He started walking. Grab your things. And thus began the man's journey 
into flight. The most important journey of all. It began like any other day with his favorite blanket, which he had found. His favorite elm branch. Oh yeah, don't forget your water bottle, which still had no water. <laughs> Upon coming to the top of the hill, he slowly came to a halt and stared to the east. Had he not been thinking so intently about whether he had closed the garage door 16 years ago, he would have noticed the sun truly coming up for the first time. But then, that garage door clicker always used to jam. <laughs>